What are you doing, Tim? Um, sitting next to the 60. Yeah, we're sitting next to the 60. All right, there it is. I know how much people love to see this John Deere 60, uh, and Tim, because Tim's like super popular here on YouTube. Um, I haven't really done much to it. I've been busy, busy, busy with the uh, farm. making hay. You got a farm, you know, farm before you play, that's what they say. But I have been making a collection of parts. Um, as you know, I got my crankshaft that was a piece of crap. But since then, I have gotten some other items. This guy here, which is the brake, which I don't think I'm going to use because it should be a different, different uh, material than that. And I did get a clutch cover, a new one. Of course, it's aftermarket. I believe it's made in Indiana. It's not Chinese. Uh, the other thing that I did get, and Tim, if you could pick that box up there, this box here. This box contains. As you can see. Well, before we get too crazy, this is a new old stock. There's the part number, A4391R, which I was rather shocked to see, but there it is, my driver wheel. Brand new. A little rusty because, well, got a little bit of rain onto it, but that ain't the first time. We'll just have to spray it down with oil. Anyways, this is brand new. Go ahead and slip that over the end there. Now, when you slip that thing on there, it actually does lock, you know, lock on there good and tight but it isn't going to be square and the reason it's not going to be square is because those splines are worn in an oblong shape so I'm still gonna to have to send this crank out to have it redone uh, which isn't any big deal because I'm gonna do it it's just I've been waiting for a rainy day to take it out to the machine shop and we have had pretty good run of dry weather until this morning at what 522 oh, okay. 522 this morning all hell breaks loose and I had six wagon loads of that stuff. Straw and hay. And hay. I had three wagon loads of straw and or four wagon loads of hay and two wagon loads of straw sitting out and they were getting wet. So we had to throw a tarp over top of it, get the tarp over top of it, and it's got a big old hole. So I had to get another tarp and put over top of that tarp. It's another fiasco, but you know, hey, water over the bridge, under the dam, well, however the hell you want to go under the bridge and over the dam. I think that's how it works. But anyway, yes, we are going to be working on this John Deere 60 on the next rainy day. I'm going to take that crankshaft out and have the machine shop have a good day with it. Um, the journals are fine because they redid that, as you know from one of the previous videos, but the uh, splines are not, for those of you who did, have never seen this before. Um, I would like to have this John Deere 60 running before the end of summer because I actually want to do some work with it out in the field just because I've never run a two-cylinder John Deere other than this one. And it didn't run. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we got Tim's dirty face here. Look at him, dirty. What you been doing, Tim? Um, moving that straw. That thing out. Yeah, we had it wedged in the barn. You didn't break anything, did you? Oh uh, yeah, here's the bearings, as you can see. You know, hey, this is like one of these live broadcasts from the iPhone. Uh, of course, the shop is a mess and uh, other stuff, but yeah. We're getting ready to go bale hay. It rained like hell this morning, but really didn't get that much. Um, because I'm a mulch farmer, I really don't give a damn. So it's going to go in the bale at about 20% moisture, and it'll steam out. Uh, yeah, get her done. Thanks for watching, and holy cow, it's the 8120. Another thing, can you just imagine 1953, this guy, and 2005, that guy? The difference between the two tractors is just unbelievable technology advancements. Uh, these are fun, and so are they. John Deere does a good job.